Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Cup 49 First round match between Chiagant and his Wood Elves and Yudlagar and his Goblins uh, As you can see this is probably going to be a little bit one-sided Probably um, <laughs> Because we've got Wood Elves versus Goblins But you know Yudi is good at Goblins uh, And he's got Morgan Thog, he's got this incredible Edge 5 Gobbo um, He's got thick skull, thick skull trolls. He's leaving his chainsaw off the field, I guess, for his own drive to like chop up any dancers that try and get the ball. Uh, he's got three bribes and a wizard that isn't displayed. Um, unfortunately, they started a, they started early. I don't know how much early, but they, they definitely started early with this match, so we won't be live for a bit. Um, obviously, we're starting off with the withdrawn offense, though only a little bit, right? Because he's got the he's got the tree quite far forward, so it's not a uh, it's not a full dacker here. We've got a we've got a bit of a half dacker going on. Um, he's still in range of getting punched by Mighty Blow, which seems you know shit, but hey, Moe can fell the tree quite easily, can't he? Which is nice. If he has to. So yeah, that seems a bit it seems a bit weird to uh, like you know it's a, it's a good strategy I think to dacker against goblins because the only the only way they've got the only hope they can beat you is by dicing the living crap out of you and killing all of your players and uh, <laughs> seeing as you know if if you dacker you can stop them killing all of your players that seems a good thing to do. Um, However, I don't know what he's going to 1D him. Oh, he's got a strength 4. He's got a strength 4. I saw this Mighty Blow Dancer. I didn't realise he did strength 4 Mighty Blow Dancer. Okay, well, I guess we know what's happening there then. So, yeah, it's, I, I, was Woody. I didn't even look at the Woody's team, to be fair, because obviously they're better than Goblins. But, yeah, strength 4 Mighty Blow Dancer. Tackle Mighty Blow Dancer is pretty sick. Um, some other Wood Elves. They're not bad. They're loads of Blodge and Rodge. Pretty nice. Ange guy, a guard guy, a strength guy. That's pretty good, actually, isn't it? The only thing they're missing is a move guy. So, and there you go. There you go. What's with the Chalice Discord message? The one, the one about cheating streamers. Yeah, that's quite, that's quite insane, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's quite insane. <laughs> And hello, Rick Basement. We go three dice, smashes him in it next week. I mean, this is the thing: is that all the bludge and he's got no tackle or anything, so it's just basically untouchable. Um, I guess all he can do is just like hope he scores his one turn, because he, he ain't getting close to these woodies on defense. Probably, probably not going to get close to the woodies on defense. You know, he might. Obviously, he might. And I guess there is the wizard in the in the edge five, right? I guess as long as he keeps the edge five back, he might be able to wizard, get the edge five in, and then like, it's just getting in and out, isn't it? It's hard. I guess he could pass maybe, and then but then he can't throw as well as pass, which sucks. What on earth prompted it? And um, what happened was Mr. Page did forget a a beast man on the field. Now I wasn't watching Mr. Page's stream, and I still haven't watched the VOD, so I cannot say anything about what happened. But, um, you know, presumably, <laughs> somebody re reminded him, and presumably he reacted in some way. If he didn't react in any way, then it's mental. If he did react in some way, then like you know, like you said, thanks for remind. Oh, I'd forgotten him. Oh, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> then I guess that's why they did it. But even that's that's still mental, obviously. But that's the only thing that makes any kind of sense, right? There is a wizard. It's just a graphical bug, uh, Veron. There is a wizard there. You can see because there's a gap, right? This is a, this is above here. There's a gap here where the wizard icon should be. It's because that joined it as a replay. The uh, wizard does not show up. But there is a wizard there. Blood Bowl 2 is a well-programmed game. <laughs> Not. In the Chalice match, yes. 
Yeah. But I mean, it's a stupid rule because, like, what he's meant to not move him now. So, like, now if you if you if you if you forget a guy and somebody in your chat reminds you, now you can't move him because they've reminded you. Like, it's it's a mental rule. It's a completely mental rule. Um, and Art said he didn't notice anything when he watched it back, so it's not as if like so. So I'm I'm sure he didn't say, "Oh, thanks for reminding me," you know. But like that's the only way you could even make the argument that something should have been done if he'd said, "Thanks for reminding me," kind of thing. Which even then it would just be being polite as a streamer. Right? He might have spotted it anyway. So like it's still just a stupid. It's still it's still insane. It's still completely insane, but at least <laughs> there'd be some kind of reasoning behind it. This is a shit half from Yudi, isn't it? Because he's not getting to foul with his dirty player. I wonder if he should just like picked off that straggler instead. I mean, obviously not now that he's got the KO. But like, you know, maybe he should blitz this. Blitz this catcher and gang fouled him or whatever, who knows. Yeah, Veron, yeah, there's a there's a new insane post in, in CCL general about it. <laughs> the rebel the rebel mentality has come to CCL. You can have you can have a cabal of ten ten of your friends on on a... Ten players better than you on Discord telling you what to do and stuff, but uh, if you're a streamer, you can't have anybody remind you to pick up a player. <laughs> I mean, that has to be the thing, right? That has to be the thing. Mr. Page even said they, they, they PM'd him at the same time. So, it was definitely about Mr. Page, whether it was about, whether it was about the picking up the player or not. Who knows? But he had forgotten a player. Because somebody in uh, somebody in somebody in my chat said, "Is he just forgotten about that player down the field?" And then uh, and then he moved him up, and uh, I'm like, "Oh, he had forgotten about him." <laughs> I hadn't even seen him. I hadn't even seen the player he'd forgotten about. But um, like, it's just an insane rule, isn't it? No, I'm pretty sure he didn't. And, I mean, he definitely shouldn't, right? <laughs> like, like, it's insane. <laughs> yeah, he could still get banned for three seasons, though. And that's what happened to Paul, right? Paul got knocked out and got banned for three seasons. So they could still ban him for three seasons on a whim. <laughs> Which, to be fair... If he did, he, if they did, even probably Mr. Page would be fucking pissed off and be like, fuck you. <laughs> he certainly should have been anyway, if they did. But I mean, it's fucking mentalism. It is actually mental. That way. Yeah. A mental thing. To... All right, so the ball's a bit closer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lob him. So this guy can go in and and I can also just go and hand off and lob, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not so easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. He can't go in. <laughs> he's just been okay. He can he could have gone closer? So obviously he's not wizarding. He could have gone closer and bolted. Wouldn't have been that bad a shot, right? Wouldn't have been that bad a shot if he bolts here. A, a pretty good shot. I'm surprised he didn't. Could have sidestepped closer, and then he could have uh, he could have 3D'd this guy, bolted him, got in. I'm surprised he didn't. If he'd got, because if he'd sidestepped closer, then one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a good chance he could have got in, handed off. And then lobbed it. Maybe, maybe he's just like saving it for offense. Like he's saving his saw for offense, isn't he? So if he if he goes all in this one turn, gets the edge five one turn, and then somehow stalls his half out against 
two mighty blow tackle dancers. <laughs> I don't fancy his chances of stalling the half out. Maybe not going for that wizard will encourage uh, Chigan to be a bit looser with ball protection. Seems he didn't go for that. Oh wow, there we go. Oi, 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 oi. Big Kaz. That's what happens when you got a strength four dancer. But I mean, this is some two pluses here, right? With the uh, two plus with him and two plus with the ball. Two huge one in thirty six rolls. I mean, that that's you would want better than that against goblins, honestly. You would really want it better than that against goblins. <laughs> wow, stop. <laughs> Hello, Savage. That's a bit mean. It's a bit mean. He, he didn't get good dice. But yeah, obviously didn't play well either. Oh. Thinks better of that. And now comes the bolt when he's further away. Okay, it fails. With a much a much worse bolt there. That's, maybe he thought, oh, fuck, I fucked up not doing it last turn. I did that um, against Sindane when he won Chalice. So, you know, maybe that was it. Maybe he's like, oh, I've done goof. I'll have to do it anyway. But that was so much worse than last time. So much worse. Yeah, a good, better one turn right with Morg because uh, he's not really stupid. And doesn't uh, doesn't have always hungry. So, way better one turn with, with Morg. Yeah, that whiz was shit. The previous turn was the turn to whiz. I think after not using it there, you probably just have to hold it on and use it on offense, right? And obviously you rolled a one anyway, so you just, <laughs> like you need you need you need your lightning bolt to not roll a one when you're paying 150k for it. So like whatever happens, he's he's been diced a bit, hasn't he? Um, it's still going on Stradik here, but I mean it's almost over. <laughs> it's almost over. We've got a we've got a Kaz troll, and it's Woody's versus Goblins. I mean Woody's versus Goblins makes it almost over anyway. <laughs> but no, it's it's not actually over. Yeah, it's but it's bullshit. The only one on the on the, on the list. Like, what can you do? I like it's fucking stupid, and like fair enough, you've got to have a relevant of chance, otherwise it's like too powerful having the threat of it hanging over and stuff. But it's so annoying to pay 150k for like no, well no impact. It has had an effect, right? Because your opponent does have to play around the wizard a little bit, so it does have an effect, but not re not real impact. Yeah, no, they are they are actually playing it. It's they started early. They started early, so they are they are playing the game right now. We will catch up eventually. Don't say it's over. <laughs> no, he's got kick as well, so he hasn't got much of a one turn chance either. Yeah, kick kick fucks goblins, doesn't it? Very sad. No, it looks like it's yeah, because you've got to go super deep for the kick, right? To make sure you can get it. Even then, if it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, no, you can get, you can do it. He's in range, good, good, good setup from Yudi to make sure he can. He's got the guy closer, so he can. Uh, he's got more chances to get to him. And I guess it was a bit of a shit kick as well to say he's got a kick. Oh, and it goes to the one spot where he can't get it. That is unreal, isn't it? The one scatter where he can't score. Oh no, there's two scatters we couldn't score. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, there wasn't. It's the one scatter. Wait. No, he's, he's still in range. Okay, I just couldn't count. Never mind, I couldn't count. But he's unlikely to get him in range, isn't he? Throwing from Sadiq. But it was good, good play by Yudi to get him in the right spot to get it, right? I pushed him with a fanatic. Thanks, Eliod. I, I could count then. Thank you. Glad someone's paying attention. That was a nice play then, wasn't it? Pushed him with a fanatic. But he was unlikely to score it, even if, uh, even if, 
he hadn't failed with Morg. Glad somebody's watching the game. Hello, Kixos. This is hard for me. I've just got out of bed. They shouldn't. They shouldn't be playing at six a.m. Honestly, it's uh, it's rude to play games at six a.m. But here I am, dedicated, waking up at five a.m. so I can cast this for you guys at six a.m. And then they've they've bloody started early. Can you believe it? <laughs> what are you talking about, Spatty <laughs> YouTube needs to know what insane hours these guys play at. <laughs> so yeah, Yudi's pretty fucked now, isn't he? But yeah, the kick kick just screws him. But that was a that was good play, wasn't it? That was good play. Using the fanatic to get to get him. Trained and but it's still very unlikely to score because he'd have had to have got like a really good throw. Hello, HTK. Yeah, it does look like Jagan's using some wireless anal beads. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he used it on the draw, didn't he? Basically, that—that that was the biggest part. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jeff! It's a bit harsh. <laughs> it's a bit. Oh, it switched views. Classic, uh, classic Blood Bowl too. What a great game! Well programmed. <laughs> Have you ever been in prison, uh, Johnny Five? <laughs> is that is that a line from Airplane? Have you ever been in prison, Johnny? <laughs> it sounds like it should be. <laughs> Been to a Turkish, have you ever been in a Turkish prison, Johnny? <laughs> Isn't that like a line? Something like that? Surely. Oh, it's Joy. Midnight Express. That's what it is. Wait a minute. Oh, it is airplane. It is airplane. And it's Joey. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison? And that's a reference to another 80s movie. So there you go. I was I was close. I was close. It's Joey, not Johnny. This is it's so unfair, isn't it? Woody's versus goblins. Jesus Christ. But you know the goblins can the goblins can dice them, but obviously the Daka makes that made that harder. Si le joueur trébuche hors du terrain, il finira dans les tribunes. Et connaissant les fans de Blood Bowl, ce serait une très mauvaise idée pour lui. Ça me rappelle la célèbre histoire d'un grand immonde. Mais bon. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Now this is totally a game worth watching. Should be one for the ages. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what an amazing, what an amazing... Well, there we go, look, there's a saw. That's, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's fun. That's a fun thing that can happen in a Blood Bowl game. <laughs> Thank you very much. Twice hop for staying fantastic for 27 glorious months. Nearly seven cool beaver pregnancies. Oh, yeah. Cette formation 
on permet d'avancer sans trop de risques. Ça va être dur de leur arracher le ballon. Hot shots. I enjoyed hot shots part there. I didn't like hot shots as much as part there. This is fucking done, isn't it? Why are we even watching this? <laughs> Let's hope the other match doesn't start an hour early for no fucking reason. I like hot shots as well. Let's 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 settle this the old-fashioned way first. Well, the old the old navy way was it? The first one to die loses. <laughs> well, that was hot shots one, wasn't it? I think. I, I can't remember. I can't. I, I, honestly, I can't really remember the difference between one and two. But um, they were both uh, they were both pretty good. But I definitely prefer two to one. That's never a kid. Missed out. Best years of your life. They weren't. I don't know why people say the best years of your life. They're totally not the best years of your life. The best years of your life were obviously like in your 20s. Oh, the school is shit. <laughs> Hey, classic, classic dodge there. Well done, Goblin. What a comedy mega. Yes, I guess it is subjective, yeah. But it's not when you're a kid, unless you fuck later. <laughs> <laughs> like your life's got to be pretty shit later if the best years are when you were a kid, right? I guess that's the one thing that you can think. I guess it depends. Depends, uh, yeah, it d depends on things. But generally your health's worse, right, when you're older. At least. At least your health's worse when you're older. But yeah, I guess, like, you know, depending on what happens. Depending on what happens when, yes, it's very subjective, so. All right. All right. Fucking hell. Why do people have to be sensible? God. You could spend your 20s in a Turkish prison, couldn't you? <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> but then that's your fault for wasting the best years of your life. <laughs> <laughs> no, J5, definitely not. You're definitely incorrect. Incorrect about that one. <laughs> professional Minecraft streamer. I wish I was a professional Minecraft streamer, Addy Telly. That's going to be a lot of work to become a professional Minecraft streamer. I've got to start that journey soon. It's going to be difficult, though. It's a little bit daunting. I like just not hitting the troll, by the way, because the troll can't do fuck all, can he? <laughs> No, I don't think so either, twice up. They might win if it's two dice, though. Whoa, hey! Gets a Kaz. Cheergan is already pissed off. <laughs> what a pointless, bloody game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> 2020. Yeah, imagine if it was 2020 mode. So he's got an outlet, but not much of one. Still got to deal with him, I guess. You don't want to play any more turns of this match than you have to, right? Because the last thing you want is taking more cars. Jeez. 
during your inevitable victory. <laughs> I guess he's not in range, so he doesn't have to blitz him this turn. As long as he's got the uh, dancer back. We're live now. The game has caught up. We will have the thriller minute of live blood ball. -hoo -hoo. Hold on to your butts. It's funny because obviously this was the better square, but is he fucking to get his dancer sword? So yeah, this is the thing, but this does leave him a route down the sideline. Ish. Ish. And I guess he's got to go for it because it's turn 14. As shit as it is, and as fucked as he'll get. <laughs> what a stupid game. Oh, it was quite good being fast, wasn't it? It's not so good. Not so good now that it's not fast. Because now it's waiting for waiting for goblins to lose in real time. Is uh not quite as appealing. Tu sais quoi, Jim? Y'a des pom pom girls qui sont mieux payés que certains joueurs. Ah bon, c'est vrai ça? Mais pourquoi Ben, si les fans passent plus de temps à Arluc et les cheerleaders que les joueurs de l'équipe, faut pas s'étonner que les sponsors leur signent des contrats en or. There we go. That gets the uh, sideline open, but there's only a sideline cage possible. Just not possible to do anything other than a sideline cage. But he's not in range, so he doesn't need to go for it. <laughs> Wait, save him, keep him back as a safety. Hello, Jack Bolt. It is inconceivable, isn't it, Purple Chest? I am shocked. I am shocked. Maybe it's the hot new thing. I think I'm too old to play the hot new thing. I think I need to play Minecraft. Oh, it's designed by Richard Garfield. Or a, or a sequel to the game designed by Richard Garfield. No, it is from Richard Garfield. Creator of Magic the Gathering. The art style is very Magic the Gathering. I don't think they should try to penetrate the cage. Because now, now it's a one in nine. You like, you know, I, I just don't think that was worth it. Genuinely, like, I'm not, I'm not being a dick. He's not in range, right? He's not in range. So just nail the front guy and keep somebody back, and then hit him next turn. One in nine times, your dancer just dies, basically, and you still got this one. But you know, I would definitely, uh, oh god, I would definitely be, uh, you know, wary against goblins. Like, with, <laughs> to be honest, like, I've, I've, uh, I've, like, I've struggled sometimes versus, like, ogres by, you know, just thinking I'm gonna go for the 8 nil and stuff. And I've, I've only, you know, I've had somewhat close games against goblins and that because, you know, trying to, like, really protect your team, hyper protect your team and stuff. And I think hyper protecting your team is the way to go in these games. And obviously, scoring there stops his stops his dancer getting sword. 
No need to no need to stall. Yeah, now I can just put shitheads on the LOS. Good players don't get hit. I'll kick her and two rookies can go on the LOS, or three and two rookies can go on the LOS. And all these good players will not get hit for two turns. So, yep, yeah, there we go. Easy win for Chirgant. He does take a perm on a Lino, on a Blodger. Gets minus move. This guy was badly hurt. And this guy was badly hurt. He's already minus move. So yeah, not not bad. Not a bad uh not a bad result for Chirgant. I don't think the winning was ever in doubt. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? Like, it's funny because, uh, oh yeah, Soulforge came out in 2016 as well, so it's definitely not new. Um, it's funny, isn't it? Because Yudi gets incredible records in CCL, um, but the problem with goblins and halflings, same with uh, Dariusus in C in CCL with halflings, right? Gets amazing records in in CCL, but unfortunately, when you're playing Chalice. You're probably against a good opponent with a good team. And uh, if you're against a good opponent with a good team, probably going to get your shit pushed in. I've got no idea why you set up like this. This this is mental. This is absolutely mental. Mental. I would have put the rookie catcher on the LOS, or the kicker on the LOS, and all of these back here. That is mental. I... <laughs> Yeah. Sheer lunacy from Chirgan there. Uh, like, that was literally the whole point of scoring, right? So that you don't get hit. So I don't know why. I, don't, I can't answer your question of why set up like that. He's a horrible player forever. I mean, people can make mistakes, can't they? But I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he wanted to skill the rookie. Maybe he wanted to skill the rookie. Like, there's, there's only a few goblins left, right? So maybe he thinks skill him, get move on him could help a lot. Guard would help a lot, maybe. So yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe you just thought I'll get a skill on this guy, but I really don't think it's worth exposing dancers <laughs> to mighty blow hits unnecessarily. But hey, maybe it is because. You can be my wingman anytime. Caught. Thank you very much for the raid. Glorious. All the else to put in. That's racist. <laughs> he's chinned. He's chinned the troll. Oh, and then he was. He was gonna. He was gonna. Yeah, he's gonna go and assist, right? And then he was gonna hit him, and then the troll was gonna. He's gonna assist, which would help activate the troll. Then he would have blocked him away, and then the troll was gonna blitz his his 
strength too. So now he does get to scale this guy, and he looks he looks brilliant. Yeah, oh, can't believe anyone else is awake at six a.m. Half six now, but um, yeah, incredible. Thank you very much. <laughs> what were the chances of someone else streaming Blood Bowl at half six a.m.? <laughs> Oh, look at that expert play. Expert play eats the one on the take route. This is why Chigan is a top tier player. <laughs> <laughs> Eat the one that you would have wasted on the pickup. Amazing. 10 out of 10, Blood Bowl. Can't hit. Uh, can't hit Morg. I guess you can hit this one, though, right? 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, you can hit the troll. Might as well hit the troll. Uh, but then your guy could die, like, your guy could get hit by Mighty Blow, and then if you just fail this, nothing happens. So, and you want the reroll for this, so I guess you just actually just pick it up. Yeah, there's no point taking that hit, is there? Like, the payoff, I guess the payoff gets him within a touchdown if he has him. I think it's not worth it, though, and I think you just go for the pick up. Go. Ooh la la. Well, this has rather scuppered my plans to cast both games back to back. Oh, but there's a there's a replay to do. Oh, glorious! So we can do the replay in between the two live games because they started early. Okay, and there you go. The game doesn't come up. the The, the result screen doesn't come up, but there you go. Chigan one two nil. Um, you know, obviously. It was Wood Elves versus Goblins. Um, right. Congrats to Chigan. Commiserations, Judd Lagar. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.